Hello, and the season's back once again, and yesterday at Milton Keynes was my first of the season. And as usual, I saw lots of faces that I know. And as usual, at the start of every season, as I haven't seen them in months, they all approach me and say, Ah, oh, hello, Tone, how are you? You've lost weight. Of course, I'd just like to remind everybody that if you have been told that you've lost weight in the past, it is not a compliment. It's more just an everyday reminder that you used to be a fat bastard. In the last couple of days at Country City, at last we've had some really good news that we're back at the Rico Arena next month in September, due to Sisu Capital finally caving in and realising that they're not making any money and running out of nose to cut off. Though if you ask me, after 12 months of ideas such as we're going to build a new stadium and have a statue of ourselves saying Sisu Capital, we've simply run out of wacky ideas simply because we've given up smoking crack. Moving on. Well, first of all, they started having to travel from Romford to Milton Keynes and usually that's an easy journey, but unfortunately there was rail works from London to Hemel Hempstead making it three and a half hours altogether. But I got to Milton Keynes and then met the boys in the Red Lion pub. And before I go on, I'd just like to say that I'll try and make at least one episode a month of this with also providing Idiot of the Month award. And starting it off is none other than Ian Griffiths who has made himself August Idiot of the Month. With his comment, I would, have ma I would have worn my Country City shirt today, but I got Tom and Jerry's ice cream down it. Now, I bet some of you have already just realised what I said there, and realised that it, there was a mistake. But seeing how we'd been drinking for quite a while, it took us about 20 or 30 seconds to finally realise that he'd said ben, Tom and Jerry's, not Ben and Jerry's. And we all burst out laughing in front of him. Ian probably hates me for putting this on now, but then again, Ian, this is probably better than that time I was sick all over your foot at Berry Away. Then again, that could be worse. I could, You could be asleep, Ian, and I'm sick all over your face from eating too much Tom and Jerry's ice cream. Anyway, moving on to the game, we took 3,600 in the upper and low, the upper and lower tier. Great atmosphere. Everybody's happy. The fact that we're back at the Rico Arena, but unfortunately, the same could not be said on the pitch, because we didn't deserve to win. We didn't deserve to draw, and it was a good thing that Milton Keynes were absolute utter shit when it came to finishing. Ryan Alsop, is it Ryan Alsop? Well, Alsop. Yeah, he made some great saves, but his kicking is absolutely diabolical. Renner Johnson was great, as usual. He's made a good start to his career at Country City. Jordan Clark was awful, as usual. Ryan Haynes put in another sound performance. I've got faith in him. I hope he's, I think he's going to be really good in the future. But the front two were absolute non and void. There was no urgency, no flair that would say that we're going to win this. We had about two or three chances, two in the first half, but they were both very weak shots, easy for the keeper. But then we made them work in the in stoppage time, I think it was. There was a shot at goal. I can't remember who took the shot, but the keeper made a save going behind the corner. But that was about as threatening as we got. But still... The good news is, it's another game without losing, another clean sheet. After just four games, we had two clean sheets and only lost one. But we've got Swindon next and, well, I, I don't know what to say about that because Swindon have started off really good and they're usually really good at home at the county ground. But, you know, we're all looking forward to Gillingham return to the Rico Arena. And it should be a very good night, and I'll be making another episode for that. Along with Idiot of the Month, September. So, I'll see you then. Ta-ta.